I think it's one of the hardest things in the universe to have a terrible boss or be like, I don't like my boss, they don't like me, we have this terrible relationship. It's so hard to deal with that. How do you deal with a difficult boss? Uh, I feel this question a lot. Um, somebody who feels like their boss is an asshole, they're a jerk, they don't like them, they're difficult to deal with, and it's like, how do you deal with that? And I, um, it's challenging, man. I think in terms of being a better employee, it's important because you don't wanna have a contentious, restrained relationship with your boss that like, if you dread coming to work every day because of that, like that will make you less productive and less awesome as an employee. So um, I would just wanna talk about a few different tips and ways that you can sort of address that. The first one is uh, the most courageous, the most direct way is to like go and have a conversation with your boss. And I acknowledge that like it's challenging because there's dynamics there, right? Of authority and power. Your boss has the potential to make your life miserable or to fire you or not, not give you opportunities in the future. So I know that there's a fear of like retaliation, but I think really truly to go in and try to have a really productive conversation and fix that relationship and turn things around is worth doing, uh, especially if it's making you miserable, if you're talking to everybody else in the universe about how terrible your boss is, it's like, go and address that thing, be accountable. Um, and I think the way to frame up that conversation with them, um, first, is like, do it in cold blood. And what I mean by that is, do not go have that conversation while you're heated and emotionally fired up or triggered about something and mad and be like, okay, da da da. Like, it's important to have that conversation while nothing else is kind of going on for you. And the way you approach that conversation, have it, should be, to be calm, don't raise your voice, like don't get heated and excited just like to as much as possible, just sort of like be deliberate about how you're showing up and calm to be focused on a resolution and a solution. And I think even using language to frame that up to say, look, this conversation for me is like, it causes me anxiety. Like I'm nervous about having this conversation because you are my boss. Um, but I really feel like uh, there's something going on that I, that's that's a challenge for me and like, I wanna address it. I think it needs to be addressed because it's impacting my work or how I feel about being here, et cetera. So let's talk about this. Um, and I think it's important to frame language in this conversation uh, like in other conflict uh, things that we've talked about with like experience-based language. So it's saying like the experience I'm having is this. Um, I think it's important not to accuse someone of you're a terrible boss, you don't like me, you don't listen to me, you don't like my ideas, whatever it is. If you come in accusing people, you put them on the defense. But if you come in saying like, look, this is the experience I'm having is that I don't feel listened to, I don't feel respected, I don't, whatever, um, it, it, it doesn't put people as, as much on the defense. Um, and I think that whatever the issue is, it's like also taking ownership to be like, you know, this is what's happening. This is my experience that I'm having and this is the result, right? Because you're making a case to say, I think that I would show up better as an employee if the thing wasn't sort of like clouding my experience here and we could solve this because ultimately my goal is for us to have a good working relationship and to me feel excited about being here, right? And like, and to be doing a great job in my job and like, and for the company and for you as a leader. So it's like, let's talk about collaboratively how we do that. And I think taking some ownership to be like, even asking the question of like, how can I show up differently that will impact this outcome? And I think like, collaborate in that conversation, even to be like, this is the experience I'm having, this is what's happening for me, this is the impact of it, like, what do you think about that? What do you see from your perspective? And like, how can, what are ways that you think we can sort of like solve this and work through this together that are productive, that find a great solution for both of us? Um, I know it takes a lot of courage to have that conversation, but it's so important. It's like, go in and do that. Um, and just attempt to make a correction and a fix and like make things better for both of you. The second one I think is that if you try that and it's like just not working, it's hard, there's like oil and water, you guys can't find a solution. I think it's like try to be proactive about finding a different opportunity. So maybe inside your company you can work for a different leader, a different department, like maybe there's a change to make where you guys don't have to work directly together if you can't find a resolution to like this strained relationship. Um, and I think the third one is that if all of that exists and you're, because some bosses are truly terrible, they will make your life miserable, they will retaliate and like they cannot be fixed or reasoned with. It's like, I think you should go. Um, there are other bosses out there, there's other jobs out there. I know people can't just whimsically quit their job, but it's like, be proactive, look for another job, look for another opportunity. If it's, it's not worth the brain space, if it's sucking the life out of your head because you and your boss have a terrible relationship, it's like, it's not worth the damage done to your peace of mind and well-being to like continue to put up with that for years and years or however long. It is inevitable throughout your career that you will have challenging relationships and work with people that are difficult. And unfortunately, sometimes those people will be your boss. And I think it's so worth going in, uh, beefing up your skills and being able to navigate those conversations and address them and find resolutions so that you can just show up, be engaged, be productive and like be a more exceptional employee and enjoy coming to work every day. Three, two, one, revenge.
Okay, giraffe and revenge. So now we both say a word that we think the next person will say based on giraffe and revenge. So now we count down again, but we're trying to say the same word. So you say the word you think I'm gonna say that bridges those two things. And I say the word I think you're gonna say. And we just keep doing until we get on the same word. Three, Three two, two, one, one. music. Okay, plant music. Watering. Carry. Garden. Don't make a face at me, I'm doing my best. Carrots. Cultivate and carrots. Three, two, one, meat factory. <laughs> oh, no, I said meat factory. Wait, meat, meat factory and eat. We're, get, we're swirling around the train, we got this. You ready? Three, two, one, farms. Organic farms. Produce. Okay, co-op and produce. Okay. okay. We're so, so close. close. Okay. Three, two, one. Groceries. Oh, no, you didn't. Boom. That's darts. It's so much fun. You can play in the car for hours.